it felt like something was around my, like someone's hands were around my neck. Top five ghosts caught on camera in haunted houses. Uninvited house guest. What is it? Is it real? And what is it doing there? Alan Campbell went to the home to see for himself. Joshua Higgins and Heather Bruff claim that their Highland, Michigan home is haunted. They say that they've heard unexplained footsteps up and down the stairs and even an angry male voice screaming and laughing in the night. But the couple who live in the house with their 15 month old daughter say that the frightening occurrences don't stop there. I mean, there was even an, a morning that I woke up and I had felt like something was around my, like someone's hands were around my neck. One night, Heather catches a glimpse of something absolutely terrifying on her daughter's nanny cam. Heather immediately runs upstairs. I freaked out. I stopped what I was doing and I ran upstairs and I grabbed my daughter. She was horrified to find that her daughter had several mysterious scratches across her face. Heather says this so-called ghost scratched her daughter Lily and attacked her too. It scares us that it could do something else. The couple plans to move out of the house as soon as they can afford it. For now, they are sleeping in the same room with baby Lily every night. A tale from the crypt. Now this next video is not technically a haunted house, but maybe something a bit spookier. A haunted cemetery crypt. The poster of this video says that he was walking through the hallway of a mausoleum in a Mexico cemetery late in the afternoon when he happened upon another strange visitor near the tombs. Y bueno, pues es un panteón relativamente nuevo, tiene alrededor de 30 años funcionando. Sí se ve algo tenebroso. Pero pues supongo que así son todos los pan ¿Qué, qué onda? ¿Qué es eso? Es un niño. Niño. Niño, ¿quién eres? Niño. ¿Qué diablos hace aquí un niño? ¿Quién eres, niño? ¿Qué pedo? Niño. Manche. Oh, man. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo. Santificado sea tu nombre. Ay, güey. Mes, ya no hay nadie. ¿Qué diablos fue eso? No mames, yo lo vi. Nadie me lo contó, yo lo vi. ¿Qué onda? No mames. ¿Qué onda? ¿Quién está? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Qué trance? Now, there's something else that's very bizarre in this video that you might not have spotted the first time through. Watch as the guy filming approaches the area where the young boy had been standing. Did you see it? The face of what looks like a boy peers from inside a sealed crypt with no door. So, what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera in a haunted cemetery crypt? Or simply a well-edited hoax? You decide. Disappearing Act The person who uploaded this video claimed that every morning he would awaken to find a particular door in his house open, even though he had closed it tight the night before. Then one day, while walking through his house, he was shocked to see what could only be described as a face staring back at him from behind the door's glass. He set up his camera to record and captured this scary video.
the video poster says that the sound of the crying child could not be heard when he recorded the video. That he only heard the cries after playing the video back. In the comments, some have argued that since there are doors in the small entryway, the video could be faked by someone simply slipping back into another room and hiding when the door is opened. However, that person would have to be pretty fast since the face disappears almost instantaneously. If the video is a hoax, it would be more likely that it's done with some crafty video effects work. But what do you think? Is this a ghost playing peekaboo? are just a hoax. The Porto Mont Haunting Now many people are familiar with the infamous Enfield Haunting, which inspired the movie The Conjuring 2. The Enfield Haunted House originally gained notoriety not only because of the paranormal events that took place inside the house, but also because the haunting was verified by multiple independent sources. The witnesses even included the local police. They were even more baffled when two of their beat constables reported seeing an armchair levitate across the Hodgson's living room. It um, came off the floor, or nearly a half inch, I should say, and I saw it slide off to the right, about three and a half to four feet before it came to rest. Well, there's actually another lesser known haunting that has even more independent verification than the infield haunting. That's the haunting of this small house in Portamont, Chile. The residents of this home said that they heard the strange voice of a woman screaming in the night, telling them to get out. Soon after, the bizarre transparent image of a woman began to appear in their home videos and photographs. But the story gets even weirder. A local priest was called to the home to bless the house. Allegedly, this is video footage from the priest's visit. Oh, wait, we out! We out! We out! Ah! But the bizarre paranormal encounters at the Portamont house didn't stop there. Late one night, the Chilean police were called to the home. The family claimed that the evil spirit in the house was, quote, lifting objects and starting small fires around the house. When the police arrived, they were shocked to find that the story was 100% true. Los propietarios en este caso indicaron que había efectos paranormales en el domicilio. Claro, nosotros al ingresar al domicilio pudimos percatarnos que de forma sorpresiva caían especies del entretejo. Igualmente cuando iba saliendo yo, yo mismo de la puerta, eh, un cuchillo color negro de aproximadamente unos 15 centímetros eh, pasó rozándome la espalda y gracias a Dios tenía el chaleco antibala, ¿no? por lo que no se produjo alguna lesión o algo. Recientemente igualmente se pudo apreciar humo que salió de una parte del interior del domicilio. Eh, no había nadie más al interior. ¿Personal de bomberos que no se ha hecho presente en el lugar? Personal de bomberos no ha concurrido al lugar. Tenemos que controlar la situación nosotros. Hay baldes con agua, igualmente manguera, pero tenemos todo controlado aquí. Además, este, haciendo presencia para que para evitar un mal mayor. Eh, los propietarios también, han, obviamente, lo que logramos apreciar, han sacado sus enseres, ¿no es cierto?, para evitar algún tipo de propagación, como bien menciona, pues el fuego, ¿no es cierto?, se ha estado produciendo. Bueno, como usted pudo apreciar, hay algunos colchones que están quemados, como asimismo especies quebradas en su totalidad, como lámparas que cayeron desde el techo. One of the policemen who was filming outside even caught actual video of what appears to be something flying across the room inside the house. Procedimiento de rigor, ¿no es cierto?, para tomar obviamente lo que son fotografías, evidencias, ¿no es cierto?, eh, de esta casa, fotografías, evidencias, ¿no es cierto? Eh, de esta casa. De esta casa.
The family was removed from the residence for the night, but still live there to this day. So, what do you think? Is the Portamont haunted house all just an elaborate hoax? One actually perpetrated by not only the family, but local clergy and even the police? Or is this actual proof that ghosts and haunted houses really do exist? You decide. Onlooker. YouTuber DeathGod2022 says that he is not a believer in the supernatural, but after his family moved into their new house, they all began to experience strange things. One night he was watching his two daughters on their baby monitor, and he saw this. It almost looks like the blurry image of another small child peering over the child gate and watching his daughters play. But when he goes to check, there's nothing there. Is this a creepy child ghost caught on camera? Or just a trick of the infrared light? And if so, just what is the light picking up? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to suggest a video for inclusion in a top five list, go to facebook.com slash nukestop5 and hit the send message button. You can also follow me on Twitter at nukestop5.